Hello, this is Ethan Minsker from the Antagonist Art Movement. We are here in Richmond, Virginia. It is April 27th, and we are doing an exhibit with the G40 Art Summit. Let's have a look. Can you explain the overall of this event first? Sure, this is the uh, G40 Art Summit. It's a yearly event where we invite between 400 and 500 artists worldwide into one group show, basically. So last year, we did it in um, DC. The year before that, we did it in Virginia. So this year, we're in Richmond, Virginia to kind of bring that flavor into uh, the southern part of Virginia. Um, basically, the G40 has been split up into six different exhibits. Usually it's in one big 50,000 square foot building. This year we have different venues throughout the Arts District on Broad Street. So the whole idea is that we're kind of activating the Arts Walk that has currently about six galleries. And with the pop-up exhibits, we'll have 12 galleries on here. So it's been really interesting. We have different types of exhibits. This is 115 West Broad, and this is all about large scale installations. That's why you see these large 15 foot by 20 foot panels. So you can kind of see a cross between a canvas and a mural. And then next door at 101, we gave each artist one room and basically said they can do whatever they want in one room. And then we have traditional gallery settings in the other locations where you can see artwork as you typically would find it in an art gallery. We have one exhibit which is called the Weapons of Mass Change, where we gave each artist a weapon so they can flip the script on it and make it a positive piece of art versus an oppressive weapon. This is the third year you've done it? Right. And the other locations weren't all in Richmond. Right, the, the whole notion, the whole reason it's called the G40 is, I was always intrigued how the G8 and the G20 would meet and kind of do their power moves and then leave. So I figured being in a DC area, it'd be really fitting to do an art summit where we bring in the best of the best to DC to kind of have a powerhouse event. So the first one, we actually did it in Crystal City, Virginia which is basically seven minutes from DC. And we took over a five uh, floor building, uh, 15,000 square feet per floor. And each, each G40 has a different theme. So the first theme was exposing the different cultures in the scene. So we had California on one floor, we had New York on one floor, we had DC on one floor, and we had the rest of the world on one floor. And last year, we were exposing the different genres. So we had skateboard art, we had wee paste art, we had stencil art, we had muralist art, we had art and sneakers, we basically had all the different arts you can possibly imagine in one building and in one exhibit. So the idea is you can kind of see what everybody's doing. And so this year, we're doing the Art of the Mural. We have 23 murals throughout Richmond which will make Richmond a destination point for street artists. And we're doing this every year. So hopefully by the third year, we'll have um, 60 murals uh, throughout Richmond. 
So you're going to continue doing them in Richmond? Right. The mural project will continue on a yearly basis in Richmond. The G40 travels. So we're planning on DC next year, but if another city has a need, you know, we'll definitely take it uh, wherever there's a need. And then I'll talk about, actually I'll talk about all three of these, all four of those. Okay. So this is Charlie Owens, an amazing artist based out of Georgia. And he does these amazing panels with these you know, really hot chicks, basically. And then next to us here, we got Adrian Guerrero, Roman. He's from Brooklyn, New York, and you know, he uses a lot of found objects and makes these really amazing installations. You can see here, he's originally from Puerto Rico, so he tries to bring in that quality into his work. And then Aaron Jasinski, another amazing artist, and you know, Joe Urado, based out of Jersey. So you get a whole broad range of different artists from all around the nation. This is actually a really cool piece, too. This is Josh Taylor, and he actually made an interactive piece. Huh. Adult mating. <laughs> and did you see the name of the, the name of the organization? <laughs> they have a really good sick sense of humor. So hello, I'm Ethan Minsker from the Antagonist Art Movement. We've come from New York City down to Richmond, Virginia to show you the stuff we are doing. Uh, we also do a variety of events in New York. We do a public access show. We do a writer's night. And next, up to the mic, I'm going to have Matt, who's one of our hosts from our writer's night, do a little spoken word of his own. World so it's different than I read before. I'm sorry if it's not as depressing as the other one. Uh, a hard hat manufacturer acquires the necessary permission from the local construction workers union hall to use one man and one woman as the foci of a product testing initiative to determine the effectiveness and comfort levels of the hard hat manufacturer's latest line of custom fitting hard hats ahead of the product's nationwide launch. This is very important. Of particular interest to the manufacturers, the hard hat's capability to stay on the heads of those workers when whose heads are staked at extreme angles customarily attributed to the daily activities of a bridge construction uh, project currently in progress over the Allegheny River. Like, way, way far away. <laughs> So I'm going to call James Rubio up to the microphone. Uh, I, I started making Super 8 films, really shooting kind of the less pretty parts of life. And Richard, since he writes about the, the less pretty parts of life, I, I think it actually works out pretty well. Mitch is a, a junkie in the subway who, uh, when, I, when I shot him, I, I actually followed him around for like three different subway stops and I just kept filming him until he tried to kick me in the face. And then I saw him the next week and I gave him, uh, I think I gave him 50 bucks because that's what I had in my, in my pocket because he, he did such a good job for my film. The title's uh, uh, Junkie's Last Stand. The city pool that resembled a Fritz Lang nightmare. We sat drinking Eastern Bloc champagne while ghastly pale residents of that sector dipped themselves. I came home on a flight paid for by her, missing the fall of the wall by one month. On the plane ride home, I dozed and dreamt that I was a child taking a train home with the bodies of faceless loved ones in the last car. This is really interesting because different artists basically had to run a town in their own little rooms. So you have like all these really amazing solutions to an eight foot by eight foot room. information about the G40 at artwino.com forward slash G40 and it has a calendar of events and all the different listings of an artist.
<laughs> I warned you about doing that nice stuff in the back.